Hey everyone and welcome to the NIJ Sunday Roundup where we cover positive stories of the week on positive development in India. Let's have a look at what's happened this week. Today is February 3rd, 2019. First up, Bharat Ratna. The highest civilian award of our nation was conferred to Nanaji Deshmukh for his contribution towards rural development, Bhupen Hazarika for his contribution towards popularizing Indian music globally, and Pranab Mukherjee for serving the nation tirelessly in public service for decades. And next, steel. India replaced Japan as the world's second largest steel producer. That's according to World Steel Association. China remains at the top of the list. Other top steel producing countries that rank just below India include the United States, fourth on the list, South Korea, fifth, Germany, seventh, Brazil, ninth, and Iran at tenth. And next, PM and education. Pariksha Pe Charcha took place earlier this week where PM Modi interacted with students from high school to college along with parents and teachers. The event was telecasted to schools across the country from New Delhi. Participation also came from other countries. The event was a unique interaction where students, teachers, parents and the Prime Minister interacted together on issues related to exams and stress. And next, India and security. The government will not back down to take tough and bold decisions for India's security. Those are the words from the PM. He went on to say that defence projects that had been pending had been completed during his leadership. Development and eliminating corruption have always been among the main planks of Modi's agenda. Open defecation. Over 5.5 lakh villages and 600 districts are declared open defecation free, according to the Prime Minister. He also said that 98% of rural India is now under sanitation coverage. The PM also urged local leaders to take part in activities like the Clean Beautiful Toilet or Shining Toilet contests, in which people made their toilets clean and colourful by painting them. And next, the Interim Budget. Union Finance Minister Piyush Goyal presented the Interim Budget for 2019 in the Parliament earlier this week. Some of the points covered were tax rebates, farmer benefits, a vision for 2030, artificial intelligence and a safer India. And next, Mahatma Gandhi. PM Modi paid his tributes to Mahatma Gandhi on his death anniversary. The PM tweeted commitment to, and I quote, follow the path shown by him and abide by the values he stood for. He also recognized other martyrs. We salute all martyrs who laid down their lives for India. The country remains eternally grateful to them for their service and sacrifice. And finally, Kashmir's first BPO. PM Modi inaugurated Kashmir's first BPO, that's Business Process Outsourcing Unit. Local leaders said that the aim of the BPO is to attract investors, job seekers and entrepreneurs to the region. While there, the PM also visited all three regions of Jammu and Kashmir to lay foundation stones for multiple projects. And that's a wrap for the positive development stories of the week. If you enjoyed watching the NIJ Sunday Roundup, be sure to like and share it. We also want to know your opinions, so be sure to leave a comment below. We'll see you tomorrow on New India Junction.